Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Relify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. Me, I had no power yesterday. I don't know, it was a windstorm here in Ontario, and there was no power whatsoever. And so my kids were like, Dad, I'm bored. Dad, there's no internet. I'm bored. And I had to explain, yes, the lights don't work. The internet doesn't work. There's, the, the fridge doesn't work. Nothing works. But dad, there's no internet. I'm so bored without the internet. Yes, welcome to 1996. Welcome to camping. <laughs> oh, it was a disaster. But I am back. Everything is now uh, up and running. So uh, thank goodness for that. So hopefully you guys are doing great. Now, you may have heard that there is a little bit of a kerfluffle. In the video game space, there is a streamer, a character who goes by the name Dr. Disrespect. And um, he was a big Twitch guy, and then he left, and there was drama. Nobody knew what would happen. And then finally, many years later, it's like, oh, he talked to a, what we think was a 17-year-old girl. And now everyone's like, oh, my God, he's a pedo blah 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 and it, it, it's a big thing now that's just the the video game space people are taking that so incredibly seriously and it makes me wonder how seriously people will take this story a dutch olympic volleyball player who had adult relations, intimate, deep, penetrating adult relations, we'll say, with a 12-year-old British girl, has been given the green light to play volleyball. He's a volleyball player at the Olympics. That, that country has decided, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You're a rapist. It's fine. You can play. You can, you can, you can play the, um, the, you can play the volleyball. You can, you can be the face of our country for the sport. It's fine. So Dutch Olympic Chiefs um, give a volleyball player who raped a 12-year-old British girl the green light to play at the Paris Games and say there's no reason to stop them. Now, it's interesting because technically, there may not be a technical reason to stop him. But morally, there might be Oh, I don't know, a plethora, a slew, a, 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 a tottering of reasons. Is tottering a word? I don't know. There might be a bunch. So the Dutch Olympic Committee has risked a backlash after confirming that convicted rapist Steven Vanderveld can represent the country at the Olympic Games in Paris. Because, well, the Summer Games are coming up aren't they? Paris 2024 is like just about to happen. So you see all the, all the news about teams and sports and players and blah, 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 qualifying the, the anti-sex beds. I've covered those. They're, they're made out of cardboard. And good thing, too, that the anti-sex beds are made out of cardboard because who knows, this player might find himself with another 12-year-old. So Van Velt, who's 29, has qualified for the games in beat volleyball with his partner, Matthew Emmers. But his participation at the event in the French capital is likely to cause controversy after he raped a 12-year-old British girl in 2014. So 10 years ago, he did this. The Dutch star. How is he a star? I don't get it. How is he a star? People are like, yeah, it's fine. You raped a girl. You can do stardom again. I don't get it. When he flew from the Netherlands to the UK to meet the schoolgirl in August 2014, after the pair started chatting on Facebook before taking her virginity. Like, this is, I mean, that's, pr that's pretty bad. Like, the, the dude got on an airplane. I suspect giddy with anticipation that 
he was going to get his dick wet. That's insane to me. And then the Netherlands are just like, yeah, you can be a star again. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, we are the sportsman who knew how young the girl was at the time. Was sentenced in March 2016 to four years in prison after admitting three counts of rape. Three counts. He was released in 2017, having only served one year of his sentence. One year. I, I personally, I don't think he was sentenced enough. But we all know the, the, um, the justice system in the EU is lacking. It's pretty kid gloves. It's pretty soft. It's delicate. Treats the criminals um, better than it treats the average citizen. Van Veld has secured a spot at Paris 2024, but the country's Olympic Committee has the final say on the selection. In a statement, <clears throat> the Dutch Olympic Committee said uh, there was no reason to exclude Van, Van de Velde from taking part at the Games. Since 2018, Steven Van de Velde has been participating in international beach volleyball tournaments again, following an intensive, professionally supervised trajectory, a spokesperson told Daily Mail. Hey, what, what, is, what, what does that mean, professionally supervised trajectory? That you put a coach on him? babysit him to make sure he doesn't do rape is what is that a, a supervised trajectory well well you see he's tracking he's tracking in the non-rape direction and we're really pleased with that well how do you know that he's not gonna find some little paris girl at that time the considerations and conditions for his return to the elite sport level were determined by the Dutch Volleyball Federation partly on the basis of the the guidelines integrity record these guidelines set out uh the conditions under which athletes can return on elite sport level after conviction meanwhile Steven van de Velde has met all qualification criteria for the Olympic Games and is therefore included in a group of athletes who formally passed uh, over uh, 4th of July from Dutch National Federation's Netherlands Olympic Committee who then becomes responsible for them uh, for the Olympic Games. The International Olympic Committee, which governs the Games, said the nomination of individual team Members following qualification on the field of play is the sole responsibility of each National Olympic Committee. Therefore, we would refer to the Dutch National Olympic Committee for any further information. So they're fine. They're like, yeah, he, he hasn't done any more rape. One year in jail was obviously very, very convincing for him for his three counts of rape not to do any more of it. During his trial, just less than a decade ago, Aylesbury Crown Court heard how Van de Velde had traveled to the UK and met up with his victim and had sex with her. Sandra Beck, who was prosecuting, told the court at the time, she describes that she had met Stephen Van Velde on Facebook, and they spoke regularly. And that made her feel special. She certainly made it clear that she was seven years younger than him. This relationship over social media was taking place over a period of time. The volleyball player's victim had added him as a friend after he commented favorably on one of her photos the court had heard. They began to speak on a daily basis over Snapchat, Facebook, and Skype before he arranged to visit her. Arriving in Milton Keys in August 2014, the schoolgirl told her family she was staying with a friend and snuck out to try and book a hotel with the older teenager, 19 at the time. When they couldn't find a room, they went to Furtzen Lake in the town, where they drank Baileys, and she performed a sex act on him. A 12-year-old kid. 12. Although, I mean, I do like Baileys. Baileys and coffee? It's delicious. But I do recommend Carolyn's, which is like Baileys, but a little bit different in your tea. Baileys for coffee, Carolyn's for tea. Anyways. 
The following day, after the pair slept in card in a cardboard box under a stairway at Premier Inn, having again been able to book a room, she took him to her empty house and he took her virginity. Oh my God, that juice must have been worth the squeeze. Before he returned to the Netherlands, Van de Velde advised her to get the morning after pill as they had not used contraception. It was her visit to a family planning clinic that alerted the authorities who stepped in because of the girl's young age. Van de Velde was then extradited to the UK on January 8th where he was arrested on suspicion of sex acts. He later admitted to three counts of rape against a child. Van de Velde was released from prison in 2017 after servicing just a year, one single year of his four-year sentence. Following his release, he said, I do want to correct all the nonsense that has been written about me when I was locked up. I did not read of it, any of it on purpose, but I understand that it was quite bad. And then I have been branded as a sex monster. As a pedophile. That I am not. Really not. Everyone can have their opinion about me. But it is only fair if they also know my side of the story. Which then we don't get. Now in the opening of this, I, 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 I mentioned a, a streamer named Dr. Disrespect. Because that is all the rage right now. And it is, is believed uh, the minor that he spoke to was 17. He may or may not have known she was 17 in the beginning of the conversation. But... There's a whole lot of details that we don't know about it. So calling, calling him the P word is, um, I don't know. It may, it may not fit. It may not be appropriate. This fella who was like, what's that? You're 12? You're 12 years old? And you want my business? I should fly to another country to get your 12-year-old business? I think that's... I think that, that, that counts as the P word. I don't know. I, I'm interested in uh, your take on it. Do I think he should represent that country? Morally, no. Absolutely not. Because it, it, it is going to court all kinds of controversy. People are going to talk about it. And I'm talking about it. Others might catch on about it. It's going to... Um, it's going to spark conversation in England for sure. Maybe spark more conversation in the Netherlands. This is all going to get um, dredged up again. Certainly it will. So morally, no. I mean, if he, the rules are the rules. And if he, he qualifies, then he qualifies. Great. I don't, it doesn't mean I think it's right. But your thoughts and your opinions on it are, is what's really important to me anyways. And I'd love to know them. So do... All the typing and, 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 and tell me what it is that you feel about this rapist uh, being allowed to compete in the Olympics. And uh, yeah, that, that's that. I hope uh, you guys, again, are having a great day and, uh, and that your power's on. <laughs> Goodness, what a day yesterday was. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. <laughs>